Hello adventurers, in this video I'll discuss the top 10 virtual credit cards in 2023. With so many alternatives, I looked into the best cards and chose my favourite 10. Stepping into the world of credit cards for the first time is always challenging. There are a lot of ifs and a lot of wandering around trying to choose which one will be better to start with. You don't have to worry about this anymore. In this video, you'll find out about the 10 best virtual credit cards in 2023. And instead of choosing between 50, you'll have to choose between 10 only. Now, let's hear about them, shall we? Starting at number 10, we have the Chase Sapphire Preferred. The Chase Sapphire Preferred is a popular travel rewards credit card that offers a range of benefits and rewards to users. Issued by JP Morgan Chase Bank, this card is designed for people who enjoy traveling and want to earn rewards on their purchases. Here are the pros. There's a generous welcome bonus. There's points on different purchases. There's a flexible redemption option. No foreign transaction fees. And travel protections such as trip cancellation interruption insurance, rental car insurance and baggage delay insurance. And now for the cons. The card has an annual fee. And also, the card doesn't offer automatic elite status with any hotel or airline loyalty programs. It's great for people that enjoy travelling and want to earn rewards on their purchases. The card is also a good choice for those who want flexible redemption options and no foreign transaction fees. It's not great for people that don't travel frequently. And if you're not interested in earning rewards on your purchases, you may be better off with a different type of credit card. Let's focus on the rewards. Earn double points on dining and travel purchases and a point on all other purchases. Points can be redeemed for travel, cashback, gift cards or merchandise. Points can be transferred to various travel partners at a one-to-one -one ratio. When redeeming for travel, you can use the Chase Ultimate Rewards Portal to book flights, hotels, rental cars and more. Cashback rewards can be redeemed as a statement credit or deposited into your bank account. Now for the welcome bonus. The Chase Sapphire Preferred currently offers a welcome bonus of 100,000 points after you spend $4,000 on purchases in the first three months from your account opening. The annual fee is $95. The intro APR is unknown, but the regular APR is 20.49% to 27.49% variable. Now, the balance transfer fee is either $5 or 5% of the amount of each transfer, whichever is greater. And there is a $0 foreign transaction fee. The credit score needed is good or excellent, which is considered to be between 700 and 850. And now at number 9, we have the Capital One Venture Rewards Credit Card. The Capital One Venture Rewards Credit Card is a great option for most travellers when it comes to ease of use and robust rewards. You can use your points to pay for any travel bill without restrictions. On when you travel, on which airline you fly with, or which hotel you stay at. Unlike the airline branded cards it was created to complete against. You won't find many travel credit cards that are better than this one if you want to travel rewards that are simple to obtain, simple to comprehend, and almost simple to redeem. Here are the pros. is a high reward rate. Credit statements for global entry or TSA pre-check of up to $100. There's no foreign transaction fees. Additional advantages when travelling such as collision damage waivers for rented cars. And it is simple to use miles for purchases of travel or partner transfers. And here are the cons. There's a high annual fee. The rewards are not very flexible. And you must have a high to exceptional credit. It's great for anyone seeking a brand neutral travel card with benefits that are straightforward to understand and straightforward to add up. It's ideal for people who like to use rewards on travel rather than other purchases. Additionally, it's fantastic for international tourists and frequent diners. It's not great for transfer balances and also those who want their all purpose rewards card to have greater flexibility. Let's focus on the rewards. When using this card, you can earn 2 miles for $1 spent on any purchase, plus 5 miles per $1 spent on hotels and rental vehicles booked through Capital One Travel. 
Rewards don't lose their value over time, they are always shown in your balance. Travel, money, gift cards or account credits can be all purchased with miles accrued. Your account's rewards balance receives a statement credit for them. Now for the welcome bonus. Enjoy a one-time bonus of 75,000 miles after making purchases totaling $4,000 within three months of account opening, which is equivalent to $750 in travel. The annual fee is $95. There's no intro APR, but the regular APR is 18.99% to 26.99% variable. The balance transfer fee is 3% of any transferred balances, total amount that posts to your account at any promotional APR you may be able to get for yourself. For transferred amounts at the transfer APR, there is none. There is no foreign transaction fee and the credit score needed is excellent or good, which is considered between 670 and 850. At number 8, we have the Platinum Card from American Express. The Platinum Card from American Express is a premium travel rewards credit card that offers a wide range of benefits to cardholders. The card comes with a high annual fee and is targeted toward frequent travellers and high spenders. Here are the pros. There's a generous welcome bonus. Access to airport lounges including Amex Centurion lounges, Priority Pass lounges and Delta Sky clubs. Free airline and Uber credit of $200 for each. Up to $100 credit towards global entry or TSA pre-check application fee. Complimentary gold status with Hilton Honours and Marriott Bonvoy. Fine hotels and resorts program benefits including room upgrades and complimentary breakfast. Access to exclusive events and experiences through Amex Platinum Concierge. And now for the cons. There's a high annual fee. No bonus earning categories for everyday spending and limited acceptance of American Express cards in some areas. It's great for people that are frequent travellers who are looking to, for premium benefits and exclusive perks. The card is also a good fit for those who value access to airport lounges and luxury travel experiences. It's not great for people that do not travel frequently as the benefits and rewards are geared towards travellers. The card may not be a good fit for those who are looking for a card with bonus categories for everyday spending. Let's focus on the rewards. The Platinum Card from American Express earns membership rewards points. The card offers five times points on flights booked directly with airlines or American Express travel and five times points on eligible hotels booked on the amextravel.com. Membership rewards points can be redeemed for travel, merchandise, gift cards and more through the American Express Membership Rewards Portal. Points can also be transferred to various travel partners including airlines and hotels. Now for the welcome bonus. Earn 80,000 membership rewards points after you spend $6,000 on purchases on the card in your first six months. The annual fee is $695 and when it comes to the intro APR it's non-existent but the regular APR is 20.49% to 27.49% variable. The balance transfer fee is unknown and there's a $0 foreign transaction fee. The credit score needed is good or excellent, which is considered to be between 700 and 850. At number 7, we have the Chase Freedom Unlimited. The Chase Freedom Unlimited is a rewards credit card that offers cashback on purchases the card offers a flat cashback rate on all purchases, with no categories or limits to worry about. Here are the pros. The unlimited 1.5% cashback on all purchases is a great perk for those who don't want to keep track of rotating categories. The card has a generous sign-up bonus for new cardholders. The card also comes with an introductory 0% APR offer on purchases for a certain period which can be helpful if you need to make a large purchase and pay it off over time. The card offers a variety of redemption options including cashback, gift cards and travel rewards. And the card also has no annual fee, making it a great option for those who don't want to pay for a credit card. And now for the cons. 
the cashback rate of 1.5% is not the highest available on the market, so if you're looking to maximise your rewards, there may be better options out there. The card's foreign transaction fee makes it less appealing for frequent international travellers. And the card doesn't offer any bonus categories for extra cashback. So if you spend a lot in certain areas like dining or travel, consider a card with bonus categories. It's great for people that want a straightforward cashback credit card with no annual fee. And also for people who want to take advantage of the sign-up bonus and introductory 0% APR offer. It's not great for those who want to earn the highest cashback rates possible, or frequent international travellers who want to avoid extra fees. Let's focus on the rewards. The Chase Freedom Unlimited card offers a flat cashback rate of 1.5% on all purchases. There is no limit to the amount of cashback you can earn. Your cashback rewards never expire as long as your account is open and in good standing. You can earn additional cashback through the Chase Ultimate Rewards Program by shopping through their online shopping portal. You can redeem your cashback rewards for statement credits, gift cards, travel purchases or merchandise through the Chase Unlimited Rewards Program. There is no minimum amount required to redeem your rewards. If you also have a Chase Sapphire Preferred or Chase Sapphire Reserve card, you can transfer your cashback rewards to those accounts for even more redemption options. Now for the welcome bonus. The current welcome bonus for the Chase Freedom Unlimited card is $200 cashback after you spend $500 on purchases within the first three months of account opening. There's a $0 annual fee. And when it comes to the intro APR, it's 0% for 15 months. The regular APR is 19.49% to 28.24% variable. Now, the balance transfer fee is either $5 or 5% of the amount of each transfer, whichever is greater. And the foreign transaction fee is 3% of each transaction in US dollars. The credit score needed is excellent or good, which is considered to be between 670 and 850. And at number 6, there is the American Express Gold Card. The Amex Gold Card has several wonderful features. The great rewards rate in restaurants, including takeout and delivery in the United States. And US stores has made it a popular favorite during the pandemic. It also comes with secondary rental car insurance with the ability to purchase primary rental car insurance. And here are the pros. High rewards and earning possibilities. Points transfer options to many partners. You can add up to five authorised users for no additional annual fee. You can choose from regular or rose gold versions. And there's also bonus categories. And now for the cons. There's no lounge benefits. Limited options to carry a balance. There's a high APR for pay over time feature. And high pay over time penalty APR. And there is also a high annual fee. It's great for people who eat out very often and for people who spend heavily on groceries. Also for people who want to master the use of points in rewards programs. It's not great for people who don't eat out often or don't use Uber Eats. Also it's not great for people who prefer to not spend a lot on groceries or for people who prefer a cashback card. Let's focus on the rewards. For the first $25,000 spent in American supermarkets each year, as well as in restaurants, the card offers four points for every dollar spent. When you book flights directly with airlines or through AmexTravel.com, you'll also earn three points for every dollar spent. For every dollar spent on additional purchases, you'll get one point. Your points can be redeemed in a variety of ways for different amounts. The choices, with values per 10,000 points redeemed, include statement credits towards card charges, paying with points at the register, or purchasing gift cards from Amex or a variety of airlines, restaurant chains or retailers. However, you might be able to gain greater value for your points by moving your rewards to one of Amex's partners, as opposed to using other redemption alternatives. Now for the welcome bonus. Earn 60,000 membership rewards points after paying $4,000 in purchases within the first six months of card membership. The annual fee is $250.
and we've got no information on the intro APR, but the regular APR is 20.24% to 27.24% variable. The balance transfer fee is unknown, and there is a 0% foreign transaction fee. The credit score needed is good or excellent, which is considered between 670 and 850. At number 5, we have the Chase Sapphire Reserve. The Chase Sapphire Reserve is a premium travel rewards credit card offered by Chase. The card is designed for frequent travellers who value luxury travel benefits and want to earn rewards for their spending. Now for the pros, there's a generous welcome bonus. $300 annual travel credit. There's a priority pass select membership for airport lounge access. Global entry or TSA pre-check application fee credit. Trip cancellation and interruption insurance. And travel and emergency assistance services. And now for the cons, there's a high annual fee. There's limited earning potential for non-travel and dining spending. There's no 0% introductory APR on purchases or balance transfers. And you require an excellent credit for approval. It's great for people that are frequent travellers who value luxury travel benefits and spend a significant amount of money on travel and dining. The card is also a good fit for those who want to earn rewards for their spending and don't mind paying a high annual fee. It's not great for people that don't travel frequently or spend much money on travel or dining. The card may not be a good fit for those who don't want to pay a high annual fee or are looking for a card with a 0% introductory APR on purchases or balance transfers. Let's focus on the rewards. The Chase Sapphire Reserve earns ultimate rewards points. The card offers three times points per one dollar spent on travel, excluding $300 travel credit and dining, and one point per one dollar spent on all other purchases. Ultimate Rewards Points can be redeemed for travel through the Chase Ultimate Rewards Travel Portal, transferred to various airline and hotel partners, or redeemed for cashback or gift cards. Now for the welcome bonus. Earn 60,000 bonus points after you spend $4,000 on purchases in the first three months from account opening. The annual fee is $550. There's no introductory APR, but the regular APR is 21.49% to 28.49% variable. Now, the balance transfer fee is either $5 or 5% of the amount of each transfer, whichever is greater. And there's a 0% foreign transaction fee. The credit score needed is excellent, which is considered to be between 800 and 850. At number four, we have the Capital One Saver One Cash Rewards Credit Card. The Capital One Saver One Cash Rewards Credit Card is a fantastic option if your recycling bin is overflowing with shopping or takeout bags. This card stands out from the majority of its rivals since it has a potential to earn such a high rate on both eating out and cooking at home. Here are the pros. There's no annual fee. There's an introductory APR period. There's bonus categories and also no foreign transaction fees. There's a generous cash rewards for dining, entertainment and groceries. It doesn't impose some frequent fees and it's easy to redeem cashback rewards. There's also an introductory APR on purchases and balance transfers. And now for the cons. Requires good or excellent credit. There's a high standard rate APR and there's limited cashback reward categories. It's great for people who love going out for dinner or entertainment and buying groceries. People who like cards with easy to redeem rewards and people who want a no annual fee credit card that benefits both dining out and eating at home. It's not great for people who don't like going out and also for people who don't like spending a lot of money on groceries. And now for the rewards. With no limits, the Capital One Saver One automatically earns 3% cash back on dining, entertainment, popular streaming services and grocery stores. 5% cash back on hotels and rental cars reserved through Capital One Travel. 8% cash back on Capital One entertainment purchases and tickets at Vivid Seats. And 1% cash back on all other purchases. Superstores like Walmart or Target 
wholesale clubs like Costco, gas station convenience stores and discount retailers are excluded from the category of grocery stores. Earning rewards is comparatively easy and uncomplicated because there are no earning caps or rotating categories. Reward points can be exchanged for statement credits, checks, gift cards or goods. You can redeem it at any time and there is no minimum amount of cashback required. Additionally, you can set up automatic redemption choices that will allow you to cash in on prizes on a certain day or after you reach a certain threshold. And here's the welcome bonus. Earn a one-time $200 cash bonus after you spend $500 on purchases within the first three months of your account opening. There's no annual fee and there's a 0% intro APR on purchases for 15 months. The regular APR is 17.99% to 27.99% variable. There's a 3% balance transfer fee, but a 0% foreign transaction fee. The credit score needed is good or excellent, which is considered between 670 and 850. At number three, we have the Capital One Quicksilver Cash Rewards Credit Card. The Capital One Quicksilver Cash Rewards Credit Card is a credit card that offers cashback rewards on purchases. The card also comes with various benefits and protections, such as fraud protection and free credit score access. Here are the pros. It offers cashback rewards on purchases, which can be a great way to earn money back on everyday spending. The card has no annual fee. And also the card offers a variety of benefits and protections. And now for the cons. It has a relatively low cashback rate compared to some of the other cashback credit cards. And also the card does have a foreign transaction fee. It's great for people that are looking for a credit card that offers cashback rewards on purchases without an annual fee. And it may also be a good option for those who don't travel abroad frequently and want to earn cashback on everyday spending. It's not great for those looking for a high cashback rate on purchases. It may also not be the best option for those who frequently travel abroad as the card has a foreign transaction fee. Let's focus on the rewards. The Capital One Quicksilver Cash Rewards Credit Card offers 1.5% cashback on all purchases. Cashback rewards earned on the card can be redeemed for statement credits, checks or gift cards. Now for the welcome bonus. The Capital One Quicksilver Cash Rewards Credit Card offers a welcome bonus of $200 cashback after spending $500 on purchases within the first three months of account opening. There is no annual fee, and when it comes to the intro APR, it's 0% on purchases for 15 months. The regular APR is 19.24% to 29.24% variable. There's a 3% balance transfer fee, but there's no foreign transaction fee. The credit score needed is good or excellent, which is considered between 670 and 850. And at number two, we have the Blue Cash Preferred Card from American Express. For a variety of purchasing categories, the American Express Blue Cash Preferred Card offers rewarding cashback. If the cashback is more your thing and specific US streaming, US supermarkets, transit and gas station categories meet your spending patterns, the Blue Cash Preferred is the card for you. Regular benefits like fraud and return protection, extended warranties, free delivery with shop runner membership, rental vehicle collision insurance, sports, music and event ticket pre-sales plus VIP access at some events are included with the card. It also has a global assist hotline. Here are the pros. There's an outstanding cashback reward. Generous welcome offer. There's bonus categories and there's an intro APR period. And now for the cons. It charges an annual fee. It also has a fee on foreign transactions. American Express isn't a widely accepted as Visa or MasterCard. And there's spending caps on bonus rewards. It's great for people who buy groceries at traditional supermarkets and for people who subscribe heavily to streaming services. It's also good for drivers. It's not great for people who don't have a driver's license and people that don't get groceries from traditional supermarkets. Let's focus on the rewards. 
with a $6,000 spending limit, this card gives 6% cash back at US supermarkets. 6% cash back on the majority of US streaming video and music services and 3% cash back on gas and transportation costs. 1% cash back is awarded on all other purchases. Cash back incentives are given in the form of reward dollars, which can be redeemed as a statement credit if they reach $25 or more. Reward points cannot be used to reduce minimum payments. Now for the welcome bonus. Get a $250 statement credit after spending $3,000 in the first six months. There is a $0 intro annual fee for the first year, and then it's $95 after that. And when it comes to the intro APR, it's 0% on purchases for 12 months. The regular APR is 18.24% to 29.24% variable. The balance transfer fee is either $5 or 3% of the amount of each transfer, whichever is greater. And the foreign transaction fee is 2.7% of each transaction after conversion to US dollars. The credit score needed is good or excellent, which is considered to be between 670 and 850. And in first place, we have the City Double Cash Card. The City Double Cash Card is a popular cashback credit card that offers rewards on every purchase you make with no annual fee. Here are the pros. There's a straightforward cashback structure that rewards you on every purchase. There's no annual fee, making it a cost-effective option. And there's flexibility to convert cashback to thank you points and redeem them for travel or other rewards. And here are the cons. There's no bonus cashback in specific spending categories. And there's no intro APR period for balance transfers or purchases. It's great for those who want a straightforward cashback credit card with no annual fee. And it's suitable for those who prefer to redeem rewards as a statement credit or check, or who want the flexibility to convert cashback to thank you points for travel or other rewards. It's not great for those who are looking for a credit card with bonus rewards in specific spending categories. And it may not be suitable for those who want an intro APR period for balance transfers or purchases. Let's focus on the rewards. Earn 1% cashback on all purchases when you make them. Earn another 1% cashback when you pay for those purchases, making it a total of 2% cashback on every purchase. No category restrictions or caps on cashback. Cashback can be redeemed as a statement credit, a check, or converted to thank you points for travel, gift cards, or other rewards. Now for the welcome bonus. Currently, the City Double Cash Card doesn't offer a traditional welcome bonus with a large lump sum of cash or points upon signing up. However, the ongoing cashback rewards can accumulate over time, providing value with every purchase. There is no annual fee. And when it comes to the intro APR, that's non-existent. But the regular APR is 18.74% to 28.74% variable. Now for the balance transfer fee. That's 5% of each balance transfer or $5 minimum after four months of account opening. There's a 3% foreign transaction fee and the credit score needed is good or excellent, which is considered to be between 670 and 850. That wraps up what I believe are the top 10 virtual credit cards in 2023. Of course, there are more of them and I can cover them in another video if you want. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next. And I'll see you in the next video.